Hi, it's Paul Commons here with the new Simrad Broadband Sound Module. It's a new module that uh, we're linking into our GB40 system to give us the uh, broadband sounder features on our current uh, GB40 product that we've got installed here on this 31-foot uh, contender. And we're going out from uh, Dana Point, California, to give it some testing. So here we are looking at uh, the broadband sounder. It's operating at 50 kilohertz and we've got a depth of 472 meters below the transducer. There are two thermoclines here where we are at the moment. One at around 50 to 55 meters and a uh, much uh, weaker thermocline between 200 and 250 meters. And this is a fairly normal occurrence out here. Further testing with the broadband sounder module allows us to uh, move inshore a little bit now where we've come away from that uh, deep canyon that uh, is still visible on the screen at around uh, 1600 feet right over to the left hand edge of the screen. We've now moved much closer uh, to the edge of the canyon where the drop off is where you can see now the depth is down to 250 feet and uh, we had the uh, very sheer underwater cliff or the canyon coming up so we went from 1600 feet down to 200 feet uh, very quickly indeed. Yeah, I'm Greg Stonesbury from AFCO Manufacturing. We're out here off California on a 31 foot contender testing the new Simrad broadband sonar and uh, sitting here looking at some hard bottom that we've got about approximately 30 meters of water here. We've got some hard rock structure on the bottom Actually picking up quite a bit of bait fish, also seeing quite a bit of sand bass and calico bass as well as a little bit of kelp and pretty incredible definition on this unit. I've looked at a lot of different up and down sonar before but this is uh, an incredible definition. We're seeing some big bass now below the bait fish. Actually just going through some bait fish right now as we come up over the hard bottom. We've got some hard rock structure here sitting over a sand bottom. So a lot of the fish are concentrated right on the structure. Of course it's really helpful to have a good sonar where you can look down and actually see exactly where the bigger fish are stacked up. Well, I can't believe the definition we're getting on this. It's just coming on the hard stuff right now. We've got some nice schools of bait fish and there's some big fish suspended. A whole school of fish coming on the screen right now. Big school of bait fish and there's some big bass laying off the side of it. Great definition. We're seeing a bunch of big fish as we're coming up on the hard bottom here, the actual rock pile, which is a couple meters in height off the bottom. A very large rock structure. Tends to attract a lot of a lot of bait fish. You can see a lot of bait fish here on the on the screen. And lots of calico bass and sand bass around it. Some mackerel. Boy, that is that's a great picture. That is really a great picture. And so Greg, tell me uh, what we're seeing here off this uh, screen because we've now set it into the zoom mode. So we've got the little light grayed out area on the right hand screen showing up on the left hand screen as a zoomed in image. But what are we seeing here with the fish and the bait fish on the top? Well, what you've got here is you've got uh, the actual rock right there. You can see there's a piece of hard structure on the bottom. Here you can see where the uh, where the bottom line gets real thick, indicating that there's hard bottom. And then there's some little schools of fish around it, and then there's a bunch of stuff up in the midwater. You see all this bait fish up here in the midwater. Uh, probably mackerel, maybe sardines. And uh, it, it, it's funny that this fish will hang over that hard bottom, even though that hard bottom's you know 50 meters below them, they'll still hang right over the top of it. And there again, you can see it clearly on the zoom. You can see the. Uh, the hard bottom right here where the line gets thicker and um, that's an actual rock pile down there on the bottom. It's a man-made rock pile, one they put out here over the sand. But you can clearly see it on the zoom and you can, you can see the uh, thicker bottom mark there, there at uh, a little over 50 meters. Yeah, it's some fantastic uh, echo returns on some pretty difficult uh, terrain. 
this is uh, great uh, shots that we're able to see today. Well, the other thing is, Paul, I've looked at this place dozens of times with my normal, you know, up and down sonar, and I've never seen that kind of relief or that kind of, uh, I was saying earlier, this thing doesn't come very high off the bottom, but yet with the broadband, you can distinctly see that thicker area where the rock is. And even though it's only a couple of three feet high, that kind of thing can hold a lot of fish. And it's important to be able to know where that hard bottom is because look where all the bait is, right over the top of the hard bottom. Now that's great. Let's see those rocks come right up out of the sand. All the life right over the top of the hard bottom. So Greg, what did you think of it today? It's an amazing piece of equipment. I mean, I just, uh, I've looked at this water for years and years with all different types of sonar, and uh, I've never seen that clear of a picture in here metering around off these kelp beds. I mean, this is where I live, and I'm used to looking at this stuff on the electronics, but this broadband sonar is incredible. So you'll be fitting one? I'll be very happy to have one of these on the boat and be fishing with it, absolutely. Great. So next time I come down, we're going to bring some rods and go fishing. That's right. It's the only thing missing today. We need fishing rods. And look at all the fish on the screen right now. It's loaded. Fantastic. Great.